Welcome to the Rubin Observatory. The largest digital camera in the world has just been delivered to this mountaintop in Chile, and we are very close to being able to take our first images. It took 10 years just to build the instrument. And now we'll use it for the next 10 years to make a time lapse of the Southern Hemisphere night sky. This camera features massive lenses, perfectly positioned to focus light from distant stars and galaxies, and 189 individual sensors to capture that light, and hopefully reveal some new secrets of the universe. The LSST camera was built at Slack National Accelerator Laboratory in California and had to be transported all the way here to Chile. In order to survive this arduous transcontinental journey, the camera was first packed into a custom shipping container with fine-tuned suspension to dampen shocks and vibrations. Those 189 sensors sit less than half a millimeter apart and needed to be carefully protected during transit to avoid damage. In California, the camera was loaded onto a 747 cargo plane along with 50 tons of support equipment. I'm the logistics lead, so I came along for the ride. I had thought about hugging the camera during the whole flight just in case of turbulence, but the vibration isolation system did a much better job than I could have. In Santiago, we loaded the camera and support equipment onto nine giant trucks and then started the 10-hour drive north. After arriving at the gate at the base of the mountain, trucks had to navigate a 35-kilometer winding dirt road before finally arriving at the observatory itself on top of the mountain. The camera truck drove so carefully that it took four hours to get to the top. We had graded and stabilized the road prior to the camera's arrival, but extra caution seemed like a good idea when you're transporting a $168 million instrument. Once the camera arrived at the Rubin Observatory, it was unloaded and brought into a clean room that was specially designed for camera testing. After it's fully checked out, we'll install the camera on the telescope and begin making that 10-year time-lapse of the universe, where we will undoubtedly find a few secrets to unravel along the way.